can we cubic both sides to eliminate the radicals? No, we need to use other method. So let's let the first turn as A, the second turn as B. Let cubic root of x plus 20a as A, cubic root of x minus 20a as B. Then we see a minus b equals to an a cube, which is x plus 28, minus b cube, which is x minus 28. That should be 56. We denote that as 1, that as 2. Now we can use the formula of cubic differences. So we know it is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared equals 56. Now we know a minus b equals 2. We sub in, so we get 2 times a squared plus a b plus b squared equals 56. Both sides divided by 2, we get a squared plus a b plus b squared equals 28. We denote this one as three. Now we focus on equation one and equation three. From one, we can solve A, which is A equals B plus two. And then we solve this one into equation three. So we get A squared, so which is B plus two squared plus A. So b plus 2 times b plus b squared equals 28. Now we can expand it. So we get b squared plus 4b plus 4 plus the second term b times b, b squared plus 2 times b, so 2b and the last term b squared equals 28. Now we correct right terms. So 1b squared, 2b squared, 3b squared. So we get 3b squared and 4b plus 2b, which is 6b. And then both sides subtract 28. So we get 4 minus 28 minus 24 equals 0. Both sides divided by 3, so we get b squared plus 2b minus 8 equals 0. Now we can factor the left side, which is b minus 2 times b plus 4 equals 0. So we know the value of b is 2 or b equals negative 4. When b equals 2, then we know b equals cubic root of x minus 28. So cubic both sides, so we get x minus 28 equals 8. So x equals 36. When b equals negative 4, so we know b equals cubic root of x minus 28. Again, cube both sides. So we get x minus 28. The cubic of negative 4 equals negative 64. So we get x equals 28 minus 64, negative 36. So we get two solutions x equals 36 and x equals negative 36 for the given equation.